Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Amazon review series. Now this is a special requested video. We were sent a, another scope, uh, which uh, what's interesting is this scope is actually a little different than what we usually get. This is a crossbow scope. Now uh, let's go ahead and unpack it, check out what's inside here. Uh, we've got our scope. We have, looks like uh, the box for the mounting hardware. Uh, okay, and let's see, we've got the wrench and the cleaning cloth, and then we've also got the instructions here. The instructions, let's take a quick look at those. Fairly basic, they do give you a kind of a breakdown on the magnifications and everything. And, uh, the, it says the performance parameter table is what it's called. It, it does have a list of the features here, uh, and it shows everything pointed out on the scope itself. There is uh, information on the focusing, the mounting, and the bore sighting, as it says. And then on the back here, it shows uh, basic maintenance. Uh, and it does show for actually multiple uh, scopes, so you'll have to kind of pick which scope is most accurate to this, uh, to the one that you have. So uh, there we go. Of course, standard cleaning cloth. We get those with anything that has a uh, an optics lens in it. You have kind of the standard uh, Allen wrench that goes with pretty much any type of mounting hardware that uh, you get for a scope of some type. And then we've get the, of course, the mounting hardware itself. Um, this does look to be set for either a pick or weaver rail. Uh, it should be uh, easily used on both so uh, you can of course depending on which model you have on your uh, crossbow you can of course use it there. The scope itself obviously it does have the lens covers here so or the dust covers if you prefer and uh, you have not a lot to it otherwise. Uh, it's pretty standard. You do have your uh, windage and elevation knobs and then this knob on the other side is actually for your red and green uh, adjustment. You have the lighted uh, rectacle basically or lighted uh, uh, lineage and stuff inside. Uh, now I'm turning this and it's actually a variable, basically it's a variable resistor. Um, meaning that it doesn't click. It's, it's a slow rotation, kind of like the, the tuner on an old radio or something like that, where you would sit there and slowly turn it and it would slowly bring up the volume or it would slowly, uh, turn it to tune in to whatever uh, analog station you were listening to. So this is, uh, this is built basically as an analog kind of uh, device. As you turn it up and down, you can adjust the brightness of uh, the, the red and green in here. And the red and green, they are not uh, set as the regular rifle scopes are where it lights up the crosshairs and everything like that. It actually lights up a little circle and uh, the very top circle is uh, the largest and as you go down through the field which is of course your different ranges of elevation uh, it gets smaller and smaller. Uh, now the first uh, field of elevation is 20 and the last one is 100, so that is the, the range that they're expecting with this. Um, if you're hunting things at 100 yards with a crossbow, uh, you're doing really good. I will say that because uh, trying to get a bolt to fly that far, be able to penetrate properly and not be blown off course by any kind of wind or anything like that because of it being so large and so heavy, uh, you're doing really well, I think. Uh, obviously a heavier mounted crossbow is going to be able to shoot further than uh, something that's a little lighter. But uh, Now, this doesn't have, of course, the standard crosshairs uh, like you would find on a rifle scope. This does have kind of that uh, uh, kind of a semi-conical or, or whirlpool kind of effect where it slowly curves in and down 
uh, as you get to the longer distances and as you're raising this up to get it to shoot uh, at, uh, at those ranges. Now it does have uh, little kind of pins coming from the 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions on the rectangle there. So those just kind of, I guess, give you a basic idea on where your kind of centering is. Uh, now let's see, we'll go ahead and shut the light off here. And uh, it does have magnification. Uh, now the magnification on this is set right here at this knob. You do have it starting at, it does say one and a half. Uh, glancing through it, it looked a little closer to one, but I may be a little off because I am looking at a pretty short distance, so it may be a little harder to tell the difference. Uh, but then it does rotate around, and as it rotates around, it goes up to a 5x magnification. So uh, you've got some decent magnification. Uh, for a crossbow, you're of course not usually going to have a large magnification range. You're not going to be going to 32x or something like that. Uh, now this does have a very wide uh, field of view, I noticed. Uh, you, when you look through, it does have a nice wide angle on it, so you do have a very large picture uh, compared to what uh, some scopes are. Some scopes do tend to dial it in. Of course, those are also because I think the fact that they are uh, magnified so you do have to bring it down much tighter uh, with greater magnification uh, comes a decreased angle that uh, you're going to be looking through so uh, let's go ahead and check this out out in the field and uh, you know if you do guys do want to check this out uh, go ahead check in the link down below we should have a link to this on Amazon as well when you're down there don't forget to check out our social media and, uh, you know, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and that uh, subscribe button, either the one in the corner or down below, as well as that little bell if you're not already getting notified of when we've got new videos coming out. All right, everybody. Well, we're out here at a field uh, just kind of right off one of the local roads here. And uh, I have the scope with me, as you can see here. And uh, you can see we're quite a ways away from uh, some of these areas. There's a pretty big open field there. That uh, tower that's right here, this one right there in front of me, um, it's roughly, uh, I think it's about 250 uh, yards, excuse me, uh, give or take. Uh, so, I mean, it, I'm ballpark figuring it, I'm trying to eyeball it. Uh, I know it's definitely well over uh, 100 yards, it might be a little closer to 200 yards, uh, but somewhere between 2 and 250, I think. Uh, now, this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this and zoom it out to uh, one and a half X and uh, make sure that we set it up so that uh, you can kind of see it. It's a little difficult because of the eye relief and everything. And uh, yeah, we'll see we're reflecting back on ourselves here. There we go. You just got to get the right angle here so that we can get the eye relief. So there you go. Um, there's with the scope, and then there's without. And that's only a one and a half X zoom. So you can see a little bit of difference there as to, you know, it, it is zoomed in some, so you can see that. Now let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and take it all the way up to five. Um, I'm not really gonna go through every stage but uh, let's go ahead through five, and I looked through five before, and five really does zoom everything in a lot. It's just going to be a little difficult to uh, get it in because it does shrink the area down. Uh, let's see if we can get it here. I'm trying to get it so we're out there at the... Uh, somewhere where we can see. Oh, there's, there it was a second ago. It's, it's a little bit hard with uh, not having something to rest everything against. Obviously, if it's on a stock or something like that, it's going to be a lot different. There we go. Now, trying to keep that in. And there's that tower. 
and you can see how far that's pulled that in. That tower fills up almost the entire uh, the entire uh, line of sight there. And uh, obviously, again, this is this is a little difficult, but we are look we were looking at this tower right here and we were looking right there kind of at the bottom of it through there with that 5x so you can see the difference between what it looks like there and what it just looked like so that's a huge difference looks really good that way and then uh, let's go ahead and let you see what the what it looks like with the light being on okay so we've got the light on and uh, it's hard for me to tell we've got a lot of reflection here and everything uh, obviously it's very bright out let's see there we go now you can see the dots in there and that of course is what the red looks like and that's variable uh, this does not have a click setting so it's not like five levels or whatever and then here we go that's what the green looks like and uh, here see if we can back it up a little bit so there you go there's kind of a basic idea on what that looks like all right, this will do it. My name's Cougar, the world of me, and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I will see you guys later, and have a good day. Bye.